Hey, welcome back to Buckeye Barbecue. So today to celebrate the Buckeyes big win over Penn State last night, we're gonna do some pig candy. So stay tuned. Okay, so I have about a pound and a half of bacon. I cut each uh, slice in half uh, on a sheet pan and I've got a metal rack uh, giving it some uh, space to uh, for air to make its way in and out of there. I've already done one side of this. I'm gonna do the second side now. I just thought I wouldn't uh, uh, film the whole thing. And also I'm gonna do this on the Weber smoke fire. So uh, I've got that on and set to 250 degrees warming up now. First thing I'm gonna do is paint a coating of this uh, firecracker sauce. Uh, I think I got it at Sam's Club. Uh, really good stuff actually. It's uh, kind of a sweet and sour with a little spicy uh, pepper flavor and it's got a little bit of an Asian kick to it. Uh, not spicy really, but just a little bit of pepper flavor. So I've got a basting brush here and I'm just going to paint the top of each slice of bacon. And you know, I'm hoping some of this flavor comes through. Uh, when I've done this in the past, uh, I haven't used a, uh, a base like this, but I'm also hoping and planning for the, uh, the uh, seasonings that we put on these to stick a little better just by virtue of the fact that we're adding this. So I think it's gonna be really good. You could use barbecue sauce of some sort if you wanted to here. Um, obviously, uh, you may not be able to find this particular sauce. If I wouldn't have had this and wanted to try it, I would have just used a, a normal barbecue sauce. But again, we're not trying to coat this with a thick coating, just painting a little on. Uh, I suspect this might be a, a quarter cup for the whole, both sides of the, of the pound and a half of bacon, but I didn't measure it. And if I didn't already say it, I may have, but I've got this pan lined with foil, and that is just to uh, make the mess easier to clean up. So, try to make the sauce go the rest of the way. A couple more pieces of bacon. I think I have enough. There we go. That's pretty good, I think. All right, now I had about uh, two cups of brown sugar and I added a little bit of uh, cayenne pepper, just a few shakes. Uh, we're serving uh, this to a large group of people, and I don't know what everybody feels about the level of spiciness that they like, so I don't want it to be too spicy. Cayenne can certainly get away from you very easily. So I'm just going to put a pretty liberal coating of this mixture all over. And I think this is gonna be a pretty uh, good amount of brown sugar for both sides of this bacon. So again, about two cups for the pound and a half and then cayenne to taste. And uh, you wanna go liberal with this. You know, maybe uh, for a full slice of bacon, a couple of tablespoons, I'm guessing, for each one is the whole reason we're doing this. This is going to be the quote unquote candy part of this. So about all done there. And then the last thing I will do is just use my hand. This will be a little bit of a mess. And I'm just, I just like to even it out a little bit all over the top. So kind of got a little, uh, piece there at the end that doesn't have quite as much, but it'll be all right. And the last thing I'm gonna do is I've got some Killer Hogs Texas brisket rub here. Uh, I like this because it is loaded with the black pepper and black pepper on, to me on bacon is really good. So I wanna be careful, this has got salt in it too. Uh, so I'm just gonna put a little bit 
But uh, again, just building those layers of flavor for the pig candy. There we go. Get a little bit more down here at the end where we kind of missed some seasoning. I got that one really loaded up. Maybe that'll be the one I'll taste later. All right, so I think we've got it here. Um, so we will see you out at the smoke fire. Okay, so we're gonna get our pig candy on. The uh, smoke fire is not quite up to temperature. It's running about 200 for a set 250, but that's all right. We'll get her started. That'll be a little more smoke. Anyway, so I'm just gonna put these on the bottom rack. Um, I'd normally do these about 275, but this cooker runs a little bit hot sometimes, especially after a cleaning, which I did yesterday. So we're gonna put it on a little bit lower. I'll monitor it, and if it's holding the 250 temperature, I might bump it up to 275. I figure this is gonna take anywhere from 90 minutes to two hours, something like that. Um, we'll just watch it, and I will, likely come out here after about 45 minutes and flip this pan uh, 180 degrees because I do have a hot side on the right side of this, a hot spot on the right side of this uh, cooker. So I wanna make sure it cooks evenly. So we'll bring you back. Okay, we're about 45 minutes in to our cook here. The uh, smoke fire is running a little cool right now typical inconsistency from the smoke fire but it'll be okay it's running about 2:30 ish when i uh started it at 250 and it actually ran close to 300 for a while so i turned it down and then it submarined but it's uh it's operating and it's not that big of a deal so uh let's take a look i am definitely going to spin this pan if nothing else uh looking really good um I can definitely tell there's more heat going on over on the right side than the left side, so that's definitely the reason that we're going to spin it. The smell is outstanding. So definitely going to set the timer for another 45 minutes. That should be fine. I think at least an hour and a half will end up uh, being good. Uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if this ends up going a couple hours. So we will bring you back. Okay, we're up to about 90 minutes. We're gonna take a look at this, uh, see if it's done. If it's not done, we're definitely going to turn the tray, so. Okay, um, not done, for sure not done, but looking great. Um, so I'm gonna just turn this. Uh, cooker is running about right at 275, so. That's a good thing. That's kind of where I want it. Uh, I do have to fight with this cooker now and again. Uh, it's not a, quite as set it and forget it as I would like, but uh, it's doing fine. Um, looking great. So I'm going to give it another 30 to 45 minutes, which will be right at around two hours or so. And we'll come back and take a look. Okay, so this video is actually going to serve a dual purpose. We're going to check on our candied bacon and we're going to put our tri-tip on. Bacon is looking outstanding. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna call that done. We're gonna take this inside, which is good because I did turn the uh, smoker down. Oh, you know, I'm gonna put that this way. Again, I've got this hot spot on this side of, of the smoke fire. So I'm gonna put the, uh, um, tri-tip the larger end facing that way and I think I've decided that I am going to curl that tail which is not something I would normally do but it's so much smaller we might even do something else with this when we uh, wrap this brisket uh, but for now that'll be good enough we're going to get a temperature probe in that so Get it plugged in here. Uh, 
And this is a pretty small tri-tip, but we'll get it kind of right in the center. Get a leaf now on the bacon. It is fall in Ohio, folks. Get that in there. This has been sitting out for probably 30 minutes since I seasoned it, so it's gonna be a little warmer uh, than just having taken it out of the fridge. But this is good. We'll take the bacon off, the tri-tip that we're gonna do like a brisket is on, and we have just filmed one video, one uh, clip to go into two different videos. So we'll see you when we taste the bacon. And we will see you when we check the tri-tip probably in an hour or so to see if we need to spritz. Okay, just a real quick clip here. I just brought the bacon in. It looks good. It smells amazing. I'm going to let it cool here on this rack. I'm not going to move it since it's, uh, it's uh, on the rack and it can get, again, get air all around it. So we don't have to take it off of that. It's not sitting in its own grease. But I'm going to let this cool for a minimum of an hour. Uh, you talk about getting burned. Uh, try a piece of that now and that sugar will make you regret it. So uh, we'll let it cool for about an hour and then we'll give it a try. And then I'm going to package it up because we're actually going to eat this tomorrow. So um, we'll get it uh, packaged up, uh, ready to be quickly reheated tomorrow. So I'll be back to give this a try. All right, so we're going to try our bacon. <clears throat> I've got a, a tri-tip. I'm cooking like a brisket behind me in the smoke fire. Um, so hoping that turns out good. I've never done that before. But on my mind right now is this piece of bacon, and i got to be honest with you. I picked it up to bring it out here to, uh, to do my taste, and I took a bite without even thinking about it. And just for the record, it's freaking awesome. My goodness, it's good. So just going to take another bite here. This might be some of the best bacon I've ever had. Sweetness, obviously, from the sugar, but the uh, Texas brisket rub is coming through. A little of that uh, firecracker sauce, and probably a little heat from the cayenne. The, the heat is so mild that I can't tell if it's the cayenne, the black pepper, or the firecracker sauce, or, or maybe all three. But it's going to be all I can do not to eat about 10 of these, if I'm being honest. So give uh, pig candy a try. Definitely, uh, definitely worthwhile. I'm going to wrap this up in some uh, butcher paper and keep it in the fridge. And then tomorrow when we have a group of people over, I'm going to put it back on the smoker for like 10 minutes on 300 or 350 just to warm it up. And we'll see what everybody else thinks about it. So Thanks again for joining me here today at Buckeye Barbecue, and we will see you next time. Boys, how's that pig candy? Amazing. <laughs> well, good. Glad you like it. Can't have any more until tomorrow. Mm.